So we're going to talk a little bit about this match just because it's going to prove that not all Charizards are created equal. I call Jungle with Scyther and I get it called over me by this Charizard and his duo Q partner Comfy. So I said fine I'm not going to fight you over it. I'll go bottom. Comfy said bottom and then just decided I'm going to latch onto my Charmander for as soon as the match starts. And I, that's fine I guess with the experience share on. But you'd think a Charmander with an experience share would outlevel everybody. While this guy is inting for stacks because he's running attack weight, energy amp, and I think a focus band, so no muscle, no scope, he just goes and ints for stacks, while the enemy jungler is a Zacian. So how do you think that's going to turn out when you come out and try to int for a stack just before Altaria? Yeah, exactly how you would expect, right? So this guy is spending the match farming, inting for stacks, and pinging, avoid fighting until we level up. And at like at over three minutes, he's still barely level seven. Again, Comfy attached to him the entire time. And it wasn't until almost halfway through the match, like four and a half minutes in, that he finally evolves into Charizard. With a Comfy on him the entire time, guys. So you know, immediately after that match, I had to pull out my Charizard. He's the number one Pokemon on my most played list. So what's good? Welcome back to Irish Dragon Gaming. Today, we are playing Charizard to show that not all Charizards are created equal. And this is what it looks like when you have a legitimate build with legitimate items and you don't have a Comfy attached to you the entire match with an experience share and still somehow we're the lowest level on the team. Now, even with a bad early game, we it, got, it was rough early. I'm still about to show you what it means to play Charizard. So we're playing Flamethrower, Fire Blast, with a Muscle Band, Scope Lens, and an Energy Amp with a Crit Emblem page. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep living the dream. I don't know. Okay, Crustle got it. Damn. They chase Crustle through mid. Okay, I'm going back. KO the jungler. Sorry. I needed that to be to get my level 7 for the mid farm. I wasn't thinking about it. Oh. It's not quite there yet anyway. You guys ready? Ready to say it? Down goes Absol! I would rather get those KOs. The champ got it. He cleaned it up.
Down goes Absol. Going back for my red buff. It's my decision why I was so kind as to not take it, realizing I was adding to our victory. I can unite again. I can I can I can probably unite again before the next objective. Let's go, bud! Oh, by the way, that's a uh, that's a disqualification at AOS Cup if you circle after a KO like that. If you dance on their body, you get disqualified. People be people be too soft, man. Back in my day, in the Halo days, <laughs> guys, remember Halo? That was the most toxic online ever. I miss it. I should get back into Halo. In the air with ya! Did I get it? I got it with the slam! I got it with the seismic slam! What? Ah! That's two. That's three. Oh, no. No. Alright, fine. Oh! Char's- I told you Char was back! I told you! What I say! My Charizard! Oh! <laughs> Let's freaking go, Victor! What was the timer on that? I hit, I was already 13. My lane to Sijuai was already 12. We, I already had 8 KOs, 42k damage. Their, their Mammo hadn't even evolved yet. What was the time? Was 13. No experience shares on our game. That's how you Charizard, buddy.